Now some of this foreground stuff. I'm adding a bit of rocky, corally texture. Oh, and this seashell, this forgotten seashell. Outlining it just to give it more definition to the shape. some shadow in the ground area around it so that it's anchored there and not just floating. Bluish green shadows. And I'm working in and around the gold bits that I splattered in before because I really like, I really like those and I don't want to just cover them up with intentional painting. I want to have that random little element maintained. So I'm not really talking about what colors I'm using, mostly because it's sort of whatever neutral shades I have here. Sometimes it's a little bit more intensive of the blue and green. Sometimes it's more of the, the bronzy tone I have there in my palette. It's kind of whatever I reach for in the moment. <laughs> it's not any real specific color mainly because this is still background stuff and so I don't want to have super intense bright colors that stand alone on their own. They're, they're more melting in with everything else and everything else here so far consists of bluish green tones. And I occasionally mix in the, the bronzy bits to mute that bright edge of the green Grabbing my white gel pen and adding some bright white highlights to my seashell. And blending that in with a damp brush. Continuing to add these little craggy, rocky, textury bits. Into this bottom corner. Giving shape to the foreground. take 
my white gel pen and add a little bit of highlighty bits in between the craggy lines that I drew. That I painted, I mean. And up into this coral a little bit too, giving it some corally loopy texture. anchoring this seaweed, literally anchoring it down into this ground, bringing the base of it down to meet with the rocky stuff. <laughs> 